face it, there are times where we might feel scared, anxious, even lonely, and it is great to have family and friends who are always there to give us some support. Well, that's not always the case for some people, but there is someone in this area who will be glad to be by your side. She is a professional cuddlist. Tonight, our John Last introduces her in this edition of The Last Word. I'm in Jamestown, New York, and I'm going to visit a person that provides a service that no one else provides for miles around. This is Chris Sherman, professional cuddlist. She believes all people have a need for human contact, to hold hands, to be hugged, to feel loved. Oh, there are so many people that don't have anybody. There are so many. It's The problem is, is a lot of people do have a lot of people, but they're still lonely. Chris became a professional cuddlist last July to provide that wanted human contact. She received her training from a website called cuddlist.com. The site also helps her with marketing and networking. The number one question that I always get is, do you spoon? Yes, if I'm comfortable. I'm not gonna just spoon somebody that walks into my house. I don't know you. We have to get comfortable with each other. Communication is key between cuddlist and client. Chris doesn't want strangers as clients. She wants to learn about the person with whom she will be cuddling. And she wants to learn how she could help them. And they're awkward and uncomfortable because they don't know me. So we talk. And then after the 20 minutes is up and we're comfortable, then I usually sit there and say, how do you feel? Are, are you comfortable enough to try maybe hand-holding? Okay, with me putting my hand on your arm or your back or adjusting your shirt and your hair? Yeah. Okay, good. Potential clients must agree to Chris's rules and boundaries before any appointment is finalized. There are some places you just can't touch. Chris also makes sure her clients are comfortable with any cuddling position she suggests. <laughs> Although Chris's title is professional cuddlist, she says it's probably more appropriate to call her a physical support therapist. In addition to cuddling sessions, Chris will also accompany people to a dental appointment or to a medical appointment where blood is drawn. She'll hold your hand. She never wants anyone to feel alone call her she'll be there if it's gonna help somebody yeah with the last word in Jamestown John last Erie news now well okay here is the answer to a question that a lot of you might have maybe you're wondering how much does Chris charge she charges eighty dollars an hour for her services and she says business is good. To learn more about Chris and her profession or to find out how to make an appointment, you can head to our website. Click on this story right at erienewsnow.com.